All right, hey guys. What's up guys? So we just wanted to come on here and kind of talk to you guys about something. Just give me a super short video. Um, so there's a few things. Um, we weren't originally going to like mention any of mention this or, or say or anything. Yeah. But now I feel like it's a lot more people are coming to our page and we're getting a lot of comments and messages and we feel like we should just address it. Especially this. something that's like... It's just been laid on our hearts, and as Christians, um, we definitely are called to talk about this and um, not try to sweep it under the rug or put it on a front or yeah. anything. So, And we're fine with telling you guys this stuff. It's not like we were trying to hide it or anything. It's just that we didn't feel like we needed to just come out right. and say any of it. Um, so, a lot of the stuff is like, you know how social media is. You see couples, you see things like that, and it makes you really jealous you think they have like a perfect life like i know for me all i do is watch like couples on youtube and stuff and i'm like oh my gosh i want to be and, just like and them. that's like the the part of social media that yeah. people kind of don't think about often is that you're only going to see the good you're never yeah. going to see the little petty arguments you're never going to see the big arguments you just only see the the highlights people's yeah. life highlights nobody wants to post them arguing and like why yeah. would you like there's just no point yeah, posting so. that. Nobody's going to find enjoyment watching that. So, anyways, we just want to remind you guys, because um, we're seeing comments. Everything is like, they're so perfect. They're like, I'm never going to find anything like this, and yada, yada, yada. And, like, people are like, I'm never going to settle. You definitely shouldn't settle. But we just want to talk about, we have some examples of how we're definitely not perfect, and we just want to. And people also have asked, like, how do you keep God at the center? You know, what does it look like when God isn't at the center versus what it looks like when God is at the center? And me and Sophia have a great example of what it looks like when God isn't there versus what it looks like when God isn't there. Um, so, so When he is there, when yeah. he isn't. So something you guys might not know, I know there's some people who know, and especially people who know us and are from around like our area all know this, but... Taylor and I met like three and a half, three, three years, years ago. ago. Yeah, um, but right before like yeah, in 2020. So we started dating. Like we when we talked about how we met and everything. This was back then, like three years ago. We met. We started dating very quickly. Um, we were we were doing all the right things at first. Like our yeah. relationships with God were really strong. Separately, we were doing things good together. Um, but we honestly for whatever reason had a lot of we argued all the time yeah. like we and just, it would be the smallest thing it and, was the dumbest stuff and and a lot of it has to do with us getting very comfortable very quick yeah. um we got comfy real quick so you know as far as you know oh we'll read the bible tomorrow it just that wasn't a priority sure we had a relationship with christ but that wasn't our priority in our relationship um because we had got very comfortable very quick and jesus and you know, Christianity was just something that was kind of there, but it was on the sideline almost. Yeah. So, anyways, we had lots of arguments. Everyone who knew us, they were like, y'all argue all the time. We were like, we know, but like, we love each other. We wanted to be together. But anyways, so that was in March of 2020. We dated for pretty much exactly a year, like to yeah. the day. Um, oh, also another thing that happened during that time, he left for school. Like, this was his first yeah. year in college, so that was already something that was like, yeah, it was only like two hours away, but it was still a lot, like, him leaving, and it was a big change and everything, so that caused some stuff, too. Anyways, next, the, after about a year, we were just, like, going through a huge fight, and it wasn't like we gave, like, you know, we did it all the time. It was really yeah. unhealthy, and... We, we were both just kind of too... Immature. To a, yeah, to a yeah. point of immaturity, you know nothing as far as you know christ at that time was really at a center focus or yeah. anything like that i mean we were still doing like yeah. we were going to church we weren't doing anything bad necessarily we it, just weren't it just wasn't yeah. you know god wasn't our our center focused and we were just really not getting along and it was just stressful as far as school and everything um so we got to the point yeah. where it was just like all right yeah. we're done so so around that time we took a, so a break we broke up um and we didn't go like a whole year without talking. Yeah, we definitely yeah. talked. We like were when he's not at school, we're ten minutes down the road from each other. Like yeah. we saw each other and we talked. Sometimes we try to work things out. But another thing that happened was when we broke up or whatever, 
we both were trying to make ourselves feel better as in like you know we were both very upset about the breakup because in my head I was like this is not there's yeah. just no way we're breaking up like, and, and, this, and same thing to me I was still extremely upset so you know we we went and and you know we had only been with each other for a year so once we broke up it was like, all right we can go hang out with all these people we can, do we can go hang out with all want, these people you know. and we were just and that that's where you know it was a very low point as far as you know very low point cr- probably the lowest cr- point yeah, we've had in Christ, our lives Christ being almost out of the picture at yeah. least for me um, because I was like you know God if you can't make this work then I don't know if you can make anything work type of attitude and it's a terrible attitude to have um, so you know as far as I made bad decisions Sophia I know made bad decisions yeah and we'll admit it yeah. I mean there's no hiding it there was. All time. Drinking. There was all sorts of stuff that we don't care. We'll say. Yeah, because um, because as Christians, we're supposed to help disciple others and lead others to Christ. And we want other people to learn from our mistakes. Yeah. And we're not afraid to admit that. You know, our, and it's good to admit it. Yeah, it's great to admit it. And I think, you know, our past doesn't define us. Nothing um, behind us defines us. All that matters is our relationship with Christ. Um, and since, you know... We're actually, now we can say, like, we're extremely thankful that we yeah. took extremely the break. Thankful. Um, because now we don't, you know, we don't argue. All, everyone's going to argue. Yeah, like, but we, it's so different now. Um, a lot of mo- more maturity. Yeah. We know everything that occurred when we were not together. We're having messages from people who are just hey, I saw trying to make us here, unhappy. You know, I saw that, you know. This is why we kind of wanted to make the video, because people think we kind of made it seem like we've been dating for three years yeah. and um because we just didn't feel the need to really break it up and tell you guys so i think people are messaging me trying to be like do you know what taylor did last year do you know yeah. what Sophia did last year and i don't know I, like, I think everyone it was like right when we hit a million followers on um on tiktok everyone started coming for us wanted to just do it you know people will do anything to try to ruin you or so, ruin a good thing especially when in every video we're talking about Jesus we're doing all that kind of stuff the devil like we're well, gonna do anything to try to and get pull you, to you stop down doing and that. stop you know spreading the good, good news and using our platform for that reason and again I just want to remind like everyone that you know I know everyone's been through something um, you know what whether it was a decision you made or a relationship or even something that you couldn't control um, None of that past defines you when you're in Christ. Nothing behind you at all. You are made new. You are reborn. And, you know, as Christians, we're called to die daily to ourselves, to pick up our cross and pick up our burdens and carry each other's burdens. Um, So that's why we just recently have felt like it has been laid on our hearts to share that with you guys because if you were to imagine, um, you know, oh, this is the perfect couple, there's no insecurities, there's nothing wrong with them, they've never made bad decisions. You're gonna create a standard that's impossible yeah, to reach. That's what I want to talk about. Um so yeah. I grew up like watching every romance movie, still do. That's it. Romance movies, this and that, and I put this fairy tale fantasy in my head of like perfection, literal perfection. Like I'm waiting for this, I'm waiting for that, and then I've come to realize more that like that's just not real life and like that's not realistic because yeah. everyone sins, everyone exactly. no one's perfect and stuff and so we just want you guys to know because I know watching couples I get so upset like oh my gosh they're so perfect and I just don't want you guys to think that and get upset yeah. and be like when how are we gonna find this like yeah you want to find someone great great for you and like perfect for you but no one's gonna be perfect everyone's gonna make mistakes everyone fights everyone argues Exactly, and that's just the reminder that brings this whole video to the main point is that for that reason, us not being perfect, no one being perfect, um, that is all the more reason that we need Christ, that you need Christ, that the world needs Christ, because when sin entered the world, the world became a broken world, and the only thing that could save us was Jesus Christ, and so that's just our reminder to you. This video we've been praying about, we've been thinking a lot about, um, we didn't know how we wanted to do it. We feel like this is the best way, um, and definitely the best way to glorify Christ and just remind everyone that their past doesn't define them, and that Jesus loves you, and that's the most important thing. And we want, you guys like, have questions or anything, we try to, like, answer all the DMs we get yeah. because people have questions like that, and we want to, like, you know, answer and be, like, friends and, yeah. set, like, yeah. you know, we want to help you guys and stuff, so... 
Anyways, more of the story. You don't gotta DM us and try to take us down because we are not gonna be taken down. That's right. Okay, and like, one last thing. I don't know how to put this because I was thinking about it. I was like, how am I gonna work it? You know when you're not, like, when you're not focused on Jesus or anything or say you're not even a Christian, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Yeah. There's no, like, it doesn't matter. So, like, when you're not in Christ or whatever, there's no telling what kind of decisions you'll make because you have nothing to, like, go by or right. follow. Or, not rules, but, like, you know what I mean? So, like, if you're not, I don't know. Did you see what I'm trying yeah. to say? I knew I wasn't going to know how to explain it. It. So, like, that doesn't matter because you weren't even in Christ. Because, so, you know I, Yeah, I, I know what you're saying. Can you saying. help? So, <laughs> so, what she's saying is basically that, like, you know, when you're not in Christ. You would, you could. You have you you technically have the opportunity to make all Any these decision decisions, you want. and the only thing repercussions you're going to have are worldly repercussions. Um, but when you're in Christ, you know you have as far none as, of that matters yeah, anymore because that was that's the past yeah. that's behind you. Um, you know, in Romans it talks all about you know us being reborn, dying daily, um, and not being defined by that. And that's the whole yeah. point of Christ being sent to die on the cross for us, guys. Um, and to be able to, as Christians, if we were to, you know, say something to someone and say, hey, you know, you did this in the past, that's undermining what Jesus did on the cross. Because mm -hmm. guess what? The past doesn't define us. And there's um, there's plenty of stories in the Bible about people who murdered people, people yeah, who I mean, I mean, cheated, like look, look all at, sorts Look of at things. Saul to Paul, look at... Um, you know, Moses, Moses, we, we went to we, church this I know, morning. I know, we went to church this morning. Moses was a murderer. Yeah. Mur Moses murdered someone. And God Same Jesus thing, Saul, Saul to Paul. You know, look at that story, all these things. Um, you know, God wants to use your story no matter what it is. He wants to use our story, guys. Um, so to bring this thing to a close, I just want to tell you guys that we love you. We appreciate all the supporters. We appreciate um, the help to share the gospel. And guys, just a reminder to love Jesus with your whole heart, him to be your first love, um, and to go out and make disciples and remind someone today that um, their past isn't defined by them, but they're reborn in a brand new creation in Jesus Christ. So That was great, guys. Love you guys. He's so good at talking, isn't he? I like tried to say one thing and I couldn't get it out. Anyways, so... We love y'all. That's just what we wanted to come on here and tell y'all. And we will, after this, we'll just go back to our regular videos. We just wanted to. We just this. wanted to get that out there first and yeah. foremost. So. so We love you guys. Love you guys. Be wholehearted followers of Christ. Bye. Love you so foul.